where do you think she stays? The girlfriend, where do you think she stays? Where? Hotel. Student mana duduk kat hotel? Every weekend she comes down. Because this Mr. Zack, very handsome man. Can we visit every weekend? So let me ask you again, where does the girlfriend stay? During the night, what? What? My bed. <laughs> eh, I pay rent, you know. <laughs> Macam mana tau tau dia duduk saya punya bed? What, when the girlfriend comes, I sleep somewhere? In the corridor, see? <laughs> ah, not realistic. Where do you think Mr. Z? Girlfriend, sleep at night when she comes down to visit him. Where do you think? One by one, one by one. Where do you think? Yes. What? She sleep on Mr. Zach's bed. Yes, you put up your hand. Something wrong. <laughs> Something wrong. Have you seen it anywhere? <laughs> hey, can you meet after this? <laughs> Definitely not on my bed, you know. So the question is, where does the girlfriend sleep? And where does Mr. Z sleep? What do you think? Yeah. What, join the bed together? <laughs> she was doing put together. <laughs> put the bed together. Where do I sleep? See, all these professors know such experience, you know. <laughs> Put the bed together. So, Mr. Z here, I here, and the girlfriend, mana? <laughs> Middle. Yes. Are you a very smart solution? <laughs> Are you cannot lah? <laughs> If we do that, Mr. Zeng will throw me out. <laughs> so let us guess again. Very simple problem. Myself in one corner on my bed. There is another bed which Mr. Zeng sleep during the weekdays. Where does the girlfriend stay? Yeah. On the bed? Yeah. Yes. What about Mr. Z? Yeah. Mr. Z sleep with me. Are you so decent, are you? <laughs> I cannot, I have to drink something first. <laughs> of course, I sleep on my bed because I pay rent. The girlfriend definitely will not sleep down. Hey, you, kalau ada girlfriend, you tidur bawah ke dia tidur atas? Yeah, right. The girlfriend will sleep on the bed, right? So I'm going to ask you to guess, you tidur di mana? On the bed juga? <sighs> so I am in one corner on the bed, Mr. Zack dengan girlfriend in another corner on the bed juga. Do you think I can sleep? Hey, very difficult to sleep, you know. <laughs> tak 
setan. <laughs> But it is true, my friend. Your guess is true. Mr. Z will not sleep on the floor. He also sleeps on the bed. My respectful uh, deans and professors, can I go on with the story or not? <laughs> can, eh? Huh? You all say can, they don't say anything. <laughs> Any way to cut the story short? No. no. Okay, I will start at 1 a.m. It is better to know what happens at 1 a.m., right? Because before that is football. <laughs> before that is playing carom. But at 1 a.m., usually the light goes off at 3 a.m. But when the girlfriend comes, light goes off at 1 a.m. <laughs> hey, my friend, kesian tak sama saya? You are lucky or am I lucky? Me lucky? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you? I'm lucky. <laughs> Tidur dekat lounge, you know. I am lucky. Why? <laughs> anyway, lights off. 1 a.m. And 1 a.m. comes, I begin to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Every year I tell this story, I, I hear what I call strange noises. <laughs> Do I have to explain what it means? No need. Yes or no? Yes. So Dinza is not me. They want me to tell. <laughs> Actually, you know, the truth is this. 1 a.m. goes off, I quickly pull the blanket over my face. <laughs> And I was frozen stiff. <laughs> Because of Terrible, strange noises I've never heard in my life. <laughs> I have to stop that <laughs> because my friend is covering his face. Really. <laughs> hey, my friend, torture, you know. Let me ask you honestly, are you lucky or am I lucky? Yeah. Me? I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. It's too hot. <laughs> I survived three months only, Prof. Three months I tak boleh tahan lah. Because when it comes to Saturday or Sunday, I'm shivering. <laughs> Because I have nowhere to sleep. Don't tell me I have to sleep at the corridor. Winter is a joke. I have to sleep on the bed with the thick blanket but nothing can stop the sound coming <laughs> what I call the strange noises I think you try sleeping in your launch line no need for me to explain what strange noises because the noises you cannot terrible it kills you If in your life you have to live in an environment where there are strange noises, what do you do? What? What will you do? Tell me. <laughs> My friend, what will you do? What? You put a bomb.
I'm not sure. You, I thought you said put a bomb or something. No. What is it? Move away. Where to stay? Well, <clears throat> after three months, I cannot stand it. I have to move away, right? Then I move away back to East London, where I came from, but in a different area. I live in a place called East Ham. In this is him, I live with a Pakistani family. And there was a Brunei student, there was a Kuwaiti student, and another tenant was me. But something terrible happened to me. No more strange noise there. <laughs> is him during that time is a terrible place because a lot of Asians. And during that time in London, in England, a lot of racial tension. And during that time, Asians are killed, murdered by what is called skinheads. Do you know skinheads or not? They put their rambut ni very thin, and that, then they have that like Trojan horse, you know. And then they have a shirt full of buttons, and then they wear boots. They go around jobless, and then kadang-kadang. If they <coughs> jump Asian, when they are drunk, they will just step and get killed, you know. And in the London underground, if you get into the station when the door open, before you go in, you see whether there's anybody inside that uh, train or not, you know. If not, you go on to the next one because you don't want to be alone there. Suddenly, the skin hits, and you'll be in trouble, isn't it? But uh, there were a few murders in the area of East Ham when I was there. But there was one night. One night when my brother, who went to study in USC, University of Southern California, came back. Uh, he completed his master's degree. He came through London and he dropped by to see me. So I put him up in the hotel in central London. So. There was one night I remembered. I took the last train, 12:30 train back to East Ham. The last train, and when I got off the station, I walked normally back to my house where this Pakistani was uh, living.